I'm uh, Sergeant Michael Ingram. I've been with the Brevard County Sheriff's Department for approximately 11 and a half years. I've been on the corrections response team for 10 of them years. I am currently the correction response team commander. Uh, I'm retired military with 21 plus years in the uh, U.S. Army. I was interested in becoming a uh, corrections deputy. While I was in the military, I tried to become an MP, a military police, in which that didn't pan out because of my height. And then it was the corrections side. So I've always been interested in the corrections field because of uh, the law aspect of it and plus being able to uh, help the uh, community and actually dealing with the inmates inside. I received a call from FTO Potter while he was doing a uh, security check. Inmate, uh, inmate Smith was supposed to go to court today and he made it well known to FTO Potter that he was refusing to go to court because he started trial and he wanted to try to cause a mistrial for him not showing up for court. With his threats of barricading himself inside the cell and making threats towards staff, I made a call to all CRT members to respond to one control to get suited up with a briefing of how we is gonna do the cell extraction on inmate Smith. So we're gonna go down there and I'm gonna try to talk him out. If we can't talk him out, we're just gonna do a, uh, a removal cell extraction on him. He did make a threat to uh, FTO Potter, reference if we do try to take him to court today or remove him from the cell, he's gonna hurt staff members and possibly he does have a weapon. So once we get him cuffed on the floor, make sure we do a real good search on him before we pick him back up. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Any questions or concerns? Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Inmate Smith. Inmate Smith, I need you to come to the door. Inmate Smith, I need you to come to the door. Hey, I need you to go to court today. You don't have a choice, sir. You're going to have to go to court. I'm going to need you to cuff up on the door. I need you to cuff up. Come on to the door. Well, that's, we don't want to bring you out. We don't want to bring you out that way. I need you to cuff up on the door. Move. Move on the door. Move back away from the door. Inmate Smith, I'm going to need you to the back of the wall. Go to the back of the wall, Inmate Smith. This, Go back to the wall. I'm ordering you to the back of the wall. Get on the ground. In me. All right, he's secured. Lower him to the ground. Once he's on the ground, do a pat down. Search for that weapon. Weapon. Secure the weapon. Wiggins, Florida, once he's secured, you two are going to be picking him up. Throw him to the side and pick him up. Put him on his feet. FTO Potter, make sure when we lift him, you uh, hold his head. He was seen by medical. We got a clearance through medical to house him into the acute housing area in 501. Walk him on out. Just a little bit about the corrections team of what we do. We train monthly. Every day we're doing some kind of training on cell searches, shakedowns, and escorting high-risk inmates in and out of the facility. We do do escorts from court. We'll take inmates to lockdown. So at any given time, CRT can be, be called in for any kind of movement, reactions, or shakedowns. Doing it for so many years, um, I believe it is. It, I believe it. I believe it is stressful because I think if you don't think it's stressful, I think you get complacent, and that could be a danger to yourself and your coworkers. I think you have to have a little bit of stress within the job of being a corrections deputy. When I drive out, when I drive away from here, I don't look in the rearview mirror. I don't take it home. I just let it 
go off my chest and I don't take nothing home. That's how I relieve it. Until the next day we come in and start a new day.